Hello. There's bats in our barn. Ew. Let's build them a house. Everybody knows that all bats are Draculas. Blood-sucking, transforming demon spawns sent to destroy everything you own and turn you into a bloodthirsty savage hell-bent on taking over the world and creating a master race of Draculas. But not on my watch. I tried everything to get rid of these bats. I even put a line of salt across the threshold of the barn. That's so dumb. But in the end, I found the best way to get rid of them is to provide them with a better home and close off their ability to enter the building that they are currently in. Right now, I don't actually have time to close off our barn, but I do know what bats love the most. A Dracula coffin. What says, welcome home more than the spot that their master lives in? To make this project, I used cedar fence boards that I picked up at my local big box store. And so far, all I've done is cut them to length on my miter saw and trimmed off the edges on my table saw so that I can get a nice tight glue up. I glued them up, clamped them up, and set them out overnight. The next morning, I came out and I drew the shape of the bat house onto the glued up wood. And then I started cutting it out with my jigsaw. The lines were coming out a little wonky, so I decided I'd make a quick little jig for my table saw to cut out these angles. I grabbed a square piece of plywood that I could run along my table saw fence. I lined where I wanted to make my cut up with the edge of the plywood that would be going through the blade. Then screwed a board to the back of the sheet of plywood behind my glued up panel. This will secure your panel as you run it through the table saw. After that, I traced this back side of the coffin onto the front side of the coffin and brought that over to my table saw and cut that out. Now to make sure they met up perfectly, I just used a flush trim router bit and ran it along all the edges of my coffin slash bat house. Now the bats need some way to grip onto your bat house. Their little claws will grip onto these little scores I made with a knife and you want to make these all the way up to the inside of the bat house so they have something to hang on to while they're sleeping. I cut these boards for the frame at an inch and three quarters wide and then laying the boards directly onto the coffin shape I marked where I needed to cut for length. Now this small board will be where the bats enter the bat house and this board is only an inch wide. That leaves a three quarter inch gap for the bats to climb up into the bat house. Bat guano falls right past their upside down sleeping head and out the small little entryway. Large enough for the biggest of bat duties but small enough to protect the entire family from predators. And I forgot to film it but using my miter saw I cut about four inches off of the bottom of the front of my bat house so I could leave a small gap for airflow to get into the bat house. This way the bats have somewhere where they can go to cool down or they can go up to the top of the bat house to stay warm. After I finished all that I went outside and painted the whole thing black. Then my wife came home and said this doesn't look like a coffin at all. It's way too tall on the top. So I brought it into my workshop and I put it on my miter saw and I recut the entire top. After that I went back, recut some more boards for the border, glued and nailed those in and went back and painted it again and I had a much better shape that I was a lot happier with. I put two little corner brackets on the top of my bat house, then climbed all the way to the top of this ladder which was terrifying and put a screw directly through the bottom of the bat house into the barn and then two screws into the angle brackets and the bat house was hung. Anyway, thanks for watching and come back for more Halloween DIYs for the rest of the month. And uh, I don't know, or check this one out. Later. Bye, see you again and have a good dream.